Today I will look over leathers I'm using for my crafts and where I'm getting it from. Hello everyone! I would say the most frequent question I got into my private messages is where I'm getting my leather. Only offers from various best leather jackets, best belts, best wallets, manufacturers from countries such as India and Pakistan can overshadow this question. Ok, but today not about them. Today I will look over leathers I'm using for my crafts and where I'm getting it from. Since I started leather crafting, I came out with free leather articles and I'm using it now for a while. Which is in standard colors, thickness and it makes easier to restock and operate my workshop. First one would be vegetable tanned butter leather from Volpera Tannery in Italy. It's made from cow skin. Butter which is top grade Italian wedge tan, quite firm leather in dense structure, slightly grainy, rich in color, slightly glossy look surface. Nice to touch, over time develops really nice patina. Butter leather I could probably also describe in that way. It's what I would imagine when someone says the word leather before I got into leather world. For me personally, most impressive colors are brown shade of butter leather, since I like such natural looking colors. So if you are looking for classic vegetable tan leather, butter is a perfect choice for you. Next would be vegetable tan Puebla leather from Badalasi Carlo Tannery in Italy. It's also made from cow skin. Puebla is the finest Italian wedge tan leather, softer than Puebla. Leather has a unique matte rustic surface look. If you take a cloth and rub the leather, it will become smooth and glossy. Leather has a pleasant smell. Unfortunately, I can't transfer it through the camera, but it is really nice and the heights give this pleasant smell to my wall workshop. Nice patina develops really fast, color become darker and surface develops a smoother glossy look. If you are a fan of leather patina, this leather is definitely for you. Available at vast variety of colors, but not all are popular and always available at the market. Probably the most famous is tobacco color. I even have my card holder in Puebla tobacco with nice patina. I believe it is about just more than a half year in my pocket. Also my main wallet is in bone color Puebla leather which is natural on diet. And you can also see nice patina after a few months of daily carry. And finally, shell cordon leather. If you are just a bit familiar with leathers or leather crafting, you probably heard about shell cordon as an expensive luxury type leather. It's a quine leather made from the fibrous flat connective tissue which is beneath the height of the rump of the horse not the skin like previous leather and this tissue could be found only in equine family animals such as horses or zebras. It's the most expensive non-exotic animal leather due to shell qualities, long tanning process and significantly small area of this tissue. Only two, about 2.5 square feet size round shaped pieces of shell cordon could be made of the wall horse hide. It's why people who are not familiar with leather could be stunned by shell cordon craft prices. For my crafts, I'm using shell cordon leather from Horween Tannery in Chicago, United States. It's most famous shell cordon tannery in the world. We all know this stamp and a lot of customers want at least part of this stamp 
to be visible on their craft, but only one stamp available on one piece of shell. Shell cordon is extremely durable, flexible leather with glossy, rich in color surface. Also reversed shell cordon crafts are popular due to unique, random looking dye stains marks on surface. Smell of shell is wonderful. Over time it develops nice patina. Shell cordon is like a wine, with time it becomes only better. Crafts of shell cordon will last you a long time or even your whole life if you are take care of it properly. Before dispatching my shell cord one craft to, to my customers, I polish them with sapphire cream, which is intended specifically for shell cord one care. For me, as a leather crafter, the biggest disadvantage working with shell cord one is that it is very uneven thickness. Even same piece of shell edge to edge could significantly vary in thickness from 1.2 mm to 2 mm. Before I found suppliers for Horween Shell Cordon, it's about two years ago, I have used a few pieces of Italian Shell Cordon. Can't say nothing bad about it, I have some remnants left from it. The reason why I'm using Horween Shell Cordon, even it's more expensive, is just one. Corwin co Shell Cordon is known as a gauge of Shell Cordon. It's mostly known brand and people prone to buy crafts with a more confidence. I even have my own wallet with a money clip of exactly this piece of black sh Italian shell. I used it from the end of 2018 until I changed it to my Pueblo leather wallet several months ago. If you compare these both shells, I would say Horween shell has more smooth and more glossy looking surface. First of all, I wanted to mention that I am not sponsored by any company I will mention here, and I just show you actual companies where I'm getting my leather. Also want to make clear the delivery, I am living in Lithuania, which is European Union country. Here in Lithuania we have companies which give you delivery address in large European countries such as UK, Germany or Italy and transport goods you ordered online once or twice a week to Lithuania. It's much easier to order in a foreign country and much cheaper delivery compared to courier companies such as DHL. My first leather supplier and all my butter leather comes from Max. He has web page tatraleather.com. I'm working with Max for a few years, we have no problem at all, every time we have smooth deals and great communication. He is in Slovakia and ships worldwide. It's a great place to order if you are a beginner at leather crafting and want to find which leather works best for you, as Max offers many leather articles in small size panels, and you don't need to buy wall height to try it. You can even buy here small panels of Italian shell cardamom to try. So from here I'm getting my butter leather. Before Max had a Puebla leather, but for some time I haven't seen Puebla for sale. So Puebla for sale I found in a couple UK companies, a and A Crack and Sons, looks like a bigger company and has a lot of leather articles. We have a website, I will put all links in video description. For prices and orders you need to contact them via email. Here you can buy leather only in full height. Next UK company which has Pueblo and butter leather and more orientated into small crafters uh, and have small panels is leatherforcraft.co.uk. I'm a bit worried how difficult trades will be between UK and EU 
after Brexit transition time, which ends this year. So if you have any contacts where to order Pueblo letter online in Europe, please leave them in the comment section. And finally, Horwin Shell Cordon. Here is a bit old school way. Just go to official Horwin tannery site, horwin.com, to section contact, then domestic and international sales agents. And here you have all contacts of retailers in different parts of the world. I'm getting my shells from European retailers. Directly from tannery you can order just in a large quantity. So guys, that's all where I'm getting my letter from. I will put links in the video description down below. As I mentioned before, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I just share my list of companies I used before to order my lure. If you have any contacts of retailers in Europe which sell leather I mentioned in this video, please share in the comments section. It would be helpful for me and other viewers. If you find this video helpful, at least please press the like button for YouTube algorithm. If you would like to support my channel, Please purchase any of my PDF template even you don't need it. As always, all my crafts and PDF templates you can find at my webshop strhandmade.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.